So I got a dog about a month ago, I'd say. A little long story short, my cousin had a friend and his friend had a litter of puppies. There was like 12 puppies. They're Border Collie Australian Shepherd mixes. And yeah, his friend, I guess, had an unexpected litter and he was trying to rehome all the pups. I've seen like Australian Shepherds before and definitely like, you know, the blue eyed ones or like the multicolor ones or the tricolor puppies or just Australian Shepherds always like catch my attention. What is it called? I just learned about the different names for Australian Shepherds, like Merle's. So she's like, I guess would cons be considered a red Merle. Mocha, come here. Jump, 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 jump. Ooh, can you see her? Just a little, just a little, just a little cutie. Ooh. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, she likes to lick. So actually, I have to take her today. She's going to get, it's like her follow-up appointments with her shots. I forget which one specifically she's getting today. But she already got her Bordadella, rabies, and there was another one she got. She just turned five months like days ago. I got her when she was just like about four months. So she's just, just a little, so cutie. The cute story is I posted a picture of her and then my cousin hit me, like my other cousin hit me up. And I was just like, oh, I heard you got a dog. And I was like, yeah. And I sent him a picture and then he's like, I want him. And I was like, no, this is my dog. Like, what? No, I'm, this is for me. Like, I'm keeping her. I'm not like holding on to her temporarily. And so I told him like, you know, hit up our cousin. Friend still has more puppies. Like maybe he can get one. So actually he got her brother who they are. They look exactly alike. Like, I don't know if you can tell. Let me see her little face. Let me see this little this little face. You can see she's got like a little white line going down the middle, and so her brother has like his white line here is like way thicker. And I think he has like more on his chest, so you can see that she has pretty. Oh, <laughs> she has pretty honey. I don't know if it's really gonna work. She's like, oh, Mocha. She has really like honey eyes and so she's just a little cutie. Yeah, she's pretty peaceful. First night she was here, she didn't cr like, she like cried like for like a couple seconds and then we were like, Shh, time for bed. And then she was, you know, pretty good, solid, like went to sleep. So yeah, she sleeps downstairs in the kitchen. I, I If I could, like, I'd love to have her like just sleep in my bed, but she does, I take her for walks. She does run outside in the yard where they like pee and poop. And I mean, I do like when I take her on long walks, I will like wipe her paws, but I'm just like, Ugh, you know. And unfortunately, like, I don't even know how this happened. There was a tick on her, like right by on top of her ear. Like, I had to take her to the vet, the clinic, vet, veterinary clinic, because I just didn't feel confident taking the tick off. It was definitely really like ugh, nasty like debating if I want to put her on the medicine because I'm not I don't really like I personally don't like taking like things I don't need to and I don't want to make her take something I'm not too sure about that I know there's like the the collar you can get which Coda has but I don't know I still have a lot to learn about mini Australian Shepherds I mean Coda you might have seen him in my follow me on IG follow me on IG Alleyville Coda is a border collie I'll put a picture of him somewhere here so he's oh, he's actually mixed as well he's border collie sheltie and then uh my brother has his american bulldog marcy which i'll put her right here too so marcy's younger i want to say like a year and a half maybe going on two and code is definitely like four years old i'm gonna say four could be going on five so those are her siblings she'll be playing with she's such a little chocolate brown girl i gave her the i was like really indecisive for the first several days of like what i would name her but i don't know she kind of gave me this like coffee chocolatey vibe so mocha was one of the first names that i was like her name is forever like you know what i decided so she's mocha i finally i ordered her name tag off this cute little etsy shop i'm gonna link it down below because it was very cute so if anyone's interested in getting their doggies a cute little name tag let me show a little bit more of her sorry she's got like white hair going all the way <laughs> and then she got little white paws like kind of like coda we call them socks but here too and then on her feet <laughs> it's very little bit and then on her tail i don't know if you can tell on her tail on her tail she has a little white like just a couple like i'd say like five white little hairs it's not even like a full-on white little you know piece there so 
yeah she she's really just a little cutie she tends to move around a lot like if i'll move into another room or walk around she i don't know it's just like you know she's so peaceful and resting and i'm like just stay still like you know get your sleep don't be following me around <laughs> so yeah i have a lot of training to do still I, I was looking at videos of like australian mini australian shepherds border collies and you know i know they're really smart dogs these are like herding dogs so they're worker dogs and so i do want her to you know get her to like know some of like some little tricks she does know how to fetch and to sit I want her to you know have you know more and play around with her so she's right now she's living her life in these suburbs living in this nice green grass clean air once i take her back to new york she's gonna be like up in them dirty like roachy rat infested streets you're not gonna like it living lavish right now living lavish like i said she's a mini australian shepherd border collie mix they said like the mini australian shepherds grow like 14 to 18 inches border collies i think similar she's also like a obviously a female so she's not gonna get as big as the boys but i'm like please don't grow please don't grow anymore i want to be able to carry you on the train or like you know maybe possibly a stroller if i want to be extra so she's just here rolling around hanging out with me she likes to be around people. She is pretty, uh, <laughs> she looks so relaxed. She is pretty scared of people. The first time that I went to go pick her up from my cousins, it took me a while to like actually like pet her. I was like, he was, she was hiding behind my cousin. He had like his two pit bull mixes and she was like kind of hanging out with them. So she didn't let me near her until like, I'd say I was there like a full 30 minutes and then finally she let me like kind of get real close. So she is pretty scared of people that she doesn't know. Yesterday, my brother came over. She was like on the other side of the kitchen, wouldn't even like come close to us, was like really scared. And yeah, when I've taken her to the vet twice already, as soon as the, the nurses touch her, like grab her and like doesn't give her time, she will like pee, like full on pee um, when someone she doesn't know is touching her. So she does get scared of people like even when we're walking and she'll see someone and she'll definitely bark or kind of like hide behind me or hide behind Coda because I'm usually walking with him so I gotta I've taken her to the dog park once but I need to like maybe take her like I kept her on the, like the puppy area so there was it was just us that day so I think I might need to take her on a busy day so she could you know interact with other doggies if people are there and she's wandering around them like people can approach her so she not be so scared because she is she's friendly you know, but I think she's just a little scared of like people she doesn't know. So, yeah, so I just, I don't know, I was like, oh, you know, I just want to introduce her. Just a little, I like love all dogs. Like, I'd be happy with any dog. Like, it doesn't matter. So, I'm just excited to have fun with her, get to know her more, and um, just take care of her. Oh my gosh, your little tongue is so. <laughs> just rubbing her belly right now. She's like, really liking it she's like falling asleep <laughs> i think i have a follow-up for her because she had that tick on her i don't know how long they were on there and that's when i was like doing my research and learning about like lyme disease so i think they gotta check her for that anyways you'll be seeing some more of her she might be wandering around in the back of my videos a little mocha get your youtube introduction anyways thank you for watching this video um if anyone has a mini Australian Shepherd or even like a border Aussie mix and has any insightful info or any like help tidbits or something like please feel free to share that because I still have to learn a lot about border collie Aussie mixes or just mini Australian Shepherds. Thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, have a good rest of your day.